At Wix, we have 70 million users from all sorts of backgrounds trying to make a website that you know, fulfills their dream. And one of the fallouts from that is that we have a, a lot of support. Support is very um, important to our business. We have 100 agents spread between a call center in San Francisco as well as in Miami. And when you have a lot of people talking on the phones, passionate you know, web builders, you get a lot of noise. And this is kind of the one big feature that actually drove us towards WebRTC. Um, with Flash, the auto-compensating sensitivity for the microphone was just causing lots of echoing, um, dropped calls, even just issues with uh, users, and they weren't satisfied. And we have two users in all these interactions. You know, we have a user that is the support agent providing support, and then the user who's on the phone, you know, trying to get their website built. And so at the time, we were actually using um, Twilio, and they added uh, WebRTC as an option, uh, and we were, you know, one of the first people to use it. We wanted to use it right away. Um, and as soon as we activated that, we noticed um, uh, we complete, we do surveys. We send out a survey for every call that we do, and we immediately got better feedback from users about, you know, they're able to solve the issue faster. They can understand the agent better. You know, it's just a much better interaction for both sides of the table. Um, and so once we started, you know, kind of moving forward with WebRTC, we really started to notice um, a lot of these other benefits. Um, so it's a nice open platform. Uh, we, our agents at least, uh, use Chrome, uh, and they can also use Firefox, supported very well in those browsers. And the user just needs to schedule a call or call us inbound, and they can get right to speaking with an agent. Um, and what Twilio actually allowed us to do was to build out a custom IVR solution that has, has inbound calling, that gives you an estimated wait time, prompts you for a support pin for you to associate with the call before you talk to the agent. And all these features we were able to build really quickly and really easily with um, Twilio's Python SDK in particular. Um, we're a Python uh, application, at least for our call center, and worked really well for us using that as well as the, uh, the Django Twilio helper library as well. Makes it very easy to create an IVR, you can do alert messages, downtime, um, and all sorts of custom routing. Uh, we have multiple languages, multiple queues. And using the abstractions that Twilio provides, it's been really easy for us to kind of build up our own call center solution that's tailored to you know, what we're doing. Um, so uh, as I was saying, um, it's really easy for us to get up and set up. We don't even really have to dig too much into the internals. Um, we're using just voice right now. We're considering using video, um, but we aren't at this point. So for right now, we just use the um, Twilio SDK, and it's really easy to work with um, WebRTC. Um, we're actually looking at um, customizing it a little more for screen sharing uh, that we're looking to adding into our applications. And it's very easy to do that. Um, so we've been really happy with it. It allows us to you know, have a great user experience with the users with the most minimal amount of you know, developer attention and monitoring that we need to pay to it. There's no Adobe plugins to monitor. You know, just keep uh, Chrome up to date, and it's been uh, really smooth. Um, so our application is a real-time um, client-side application. Uh, we have a socket connection that's open to Twilio and stays open for calls. And then we have uh, another socket connection that handles updates to calls, notes, uh, user info, uh, surveys, and um, all the interactions uh, inside of WCC, or our call center application. Um, so it's been really efficient, uh, really easy for us to, um, to use that. And we've, as I said earlier, we've gotten directly correlated the results to uh, an improvement in customer satisfaction. Um, and one thing that's nice about WebRTC, at least with the Twilio's implementation, is it's very easy to roll back. Um, we do sometimes have issues with big Chrome releases or big Firefox releases. And you can easily, uh, through a user profile, we have a toggle and you can roll back to Flash very quickly. Fortunately, we notice right away, you know, the user will say, hey, I spoke to you last week, and it's not nearly as clear right now. You know, I can barely hear you. What's going on? And you notice the result right away, but it's nice to have a, a fallback. Um, it's definitely a piece of advice I would give. Um, any other advice? Uh, I would say WebRTC is kind of different in Chrome and Firefox, so definitely try to test for each environment. Um, you know, don't expect exactly the same uh, thing in, in both environments. Um, 
One thing that also really led us to looking at WebRTC, the really driving factor was Flash has been pretty much removed from mobile browsers now on Android and on iOS, whereas WebRTC is now supported very well in Firefox and Chrome for Android, as well as the Bowser browser for iOS. So it seems like it's really moving forward, and if you want to be um, evaluating mobile as well as uh, tablet solutions and other clients, WebRTC definitely seems like uh, the way to go. And yeah, we've been pretty successful with it. It really helps. So are there any questions? Yeah. Under what um, circumstances, hey, let me repeat this. For under work, yeah. what circumstances do you need to fall back to Flash? Sorry, just it's a very good question. I would say the, the biggest one is a large browser update, like a update from Chrome 42 to 43, for instance, when they introduce new APIs, especially at scale when we have a lot of people using WebRTC, we definitely notice um, issues, and it can be kind of difficult to trace them back to WebRTC, so that's one of the first things we try usually, is if, if there's any issues with the calls, um, we, we try using Flash and see if that solves the issues. But there's a lot more latency. There's a definitely, especially in our office, we have a little bit of an echo, and you get kind of hearing someone else in Flash. It, it tries too hard to compensate for that, and we haven't found a way to kind of customize that as you can with WebRTC a lot more easily. Yeah. So, um, I'm pretty loud. Uh, is there a possibility of having um, a, a chat thing that we can buy for Wix users? Um, what do you another mean? is uh, Wix, you allow people to build their own websites. This is for diagnosing the building websites, but if I wanted to have a website with a WebRTC chat or voice thing on my mm -hmm. website, would I be able to do that? Or that's do I have to contact Twilio directly? Uh, that's something we're definitely looking into doing. Um, we do have an app market that allows you to extend your site with bits of functionality. Right now, we're doing a little more on the HTML5 media player side of things with that, but that's definitely uh, something people have asked about. You know, They want to be able to have the video chat embedded on their site, and uh, I think we're going to do it. It seems to be very easy to do with uh, WebRTC. Just It's uh, native JavaScript, as you know. It's very simple and easy to work with. So it fits well with the Wix platform. Yeah. One more question. One more question. So you said your agents are using the Chrome. Yeah. Uh, what primarily. are your customers using? Are they on? If they are not on Chrome, are they contacting with their f uh, phone line or? Uh, most of them are calling in. Uh, we have an inbound line. We also call users outbound to contact them about issues. Uh, and a lot of our traffic also comes from a support scheduler. So it's a bridge from phone to your Chrome? Yes, okay. using Twilio um, to do that. And we're looking at adding video and screen sharing into that, but we would need to obviously have like a web portal for support um, integrated with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you, Peter. Thank right, you for your time. You. We're getting back on time. Thanks so much.